Mary, what is your stance on the current gun laws in the state, such as registering and licensing fi firearms? I was endorsed by the NRA and also by Minnesota um, Go Pack. I certainly will not nor ever support registering your, um, your guns or licensing, and I certainly will never ever limit in any way, shape, or form your Second Amendment rights. Thank you. Jay? This is another area of agreement. Um, I had a sporting goods business. I was a licensed federal firearms dealer, a corporate member of the NRA. I'm a now a, a, an individual member of the NRA. Uh, I bought, sold, and traded guns for almost five years. Um, I operated that business on, on both sides of uh, Minnesota's conceal and carry law. Uh, I'm a conceal carry permit holder myself. Uh, I operated that business on both sides of the Brady Bill. I understand those issues. Uh, I also champion Second Amendment rights, and I'm not looking to go to St. Paul to take away anybody's guns. Uh, I, I find that a, a ridiculous kind of argument, uh, and I, I certainly would not allow anything like that to come out of committee uh, and, and would not support those kinds of bills. Um, there are some common sense measures that uh, we do uh, look at and need to look at closely and that we do support, and I know that my opponents support it. A new law that just went into effect in, in August uh, that restricts the, the gun rights for those that are convicted of domestic abuse. And I think that was uh, almost passed unanimously, and uh, even gun rights groups uh, were in favor of that kind of legislation. And that's what can happen when we listen to each other and don't label each other. Thank you. Mary, would you like a rebuttal? Uh, yes. Mr. S um, the opponent here tells you that he respects the Second Amendment. I think he might disagree. According to the opponent's own responses to gun rights group surveys, he supports universal registration of any firearm, banning common sporting rifles such as the AR-15, which is a common sport rifle, government monitoring of your ammunition purchases, and requiring you to pay a transfer fee when you loan your gun to a friend. He opposes securing your right to keep and bear arms in the Minnesota Constitution, legalizing suppressors, which is a common safety device, also removing the fees and red tape incurred to exercise your right to carry, the constitutional carry. Mr. Uh, or the opponent's status as a former firearms dealer has no bearing on his willingness to defend your Second Amendment rights. Yeah, um, my, my statements are out there. Um, you, you can read them. I oppose registration. Well, the first three words that I said, I oppose registration. Because uh, quite frankly, I, I can't see how they can done, be done bureaucratically. And, and for the same reason, I don't want every single state to have different regulations. Uh, as for constitutional carry, um, that I, I think is uh, could a potential slippery slope, depending on how that kind of legislation would be put together. Again, I'm somebody that wants to listen and look very closely at issues. We already have concealed carry available in Minnesota. It's not difficult to do. It's not an, an overly burdensome hurdle to get to. And as for enshrining uh, the right to bear arms in the Minnesota Constitution, it's already enshrined in our federal constitution, and that supersedes states. 